Hi guys, you're welcome to Delare Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. We'll be creating a mini notepad application uh, in Android. Uh, this is basically a copy-paste application for Android that lets you store frequently used text snippets on your phone so you don't need to type them manually all the time. A simple tap on an entry copies the value onto the clipboard and makes it available for pasting in any application. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio where I have the source file of this particular application and I'll be explaining in details how to go about uh, creating a mini notepad uh, in Android. Right there uh, in the file tree of this application, in the Build Gradle Model App session, uh, we have no dependencies used. Uh, we maintain the default uh, Android dependencies, uh, whereby we have uh, Build Tools version 25.0.1, the Compile SDK is 23. So from here, I'll be going to the rest. We'll talk about the layout folder. We have the Add New Entry Dialog, XML, the Edit Entry Activity, the main activity, which is the, the main XML. We have the main No Entries, and the web, we have the simple list item that actually lists uh, the the entered text. So from here, we'll be looking at the main XML. This is a linear layout with the orientation of vertical, with the layout with tonight field parent, and the text view as an ID of text entries. What about the layout with and the height is field parent and wrap content respectively. The text is uh, empty, or the text on it is actually empty. And that's a graffiti of center vertical and or center horizontal. Another list view, the first one is a text view, but this is a list view with an ID of values list, uh, layout with an ID field parent, uh, closing list view. Let's get to see the rendering library of this particular application. So it's actu actually going to be a list item, the first item, second, third, fourth, which are actually going to be uh, the input uh, string or the input data that was saved. Uh, right there, you have them stored uh, in the list. So we're going to look at other XML files whereby we have the add new entry dialog. Let's get to look at the uh, graphical representation of this particular layout whereby you have the add new entry and the copy. You, know, you have the ability to copy uh, this particular item in the in the list item you can a click on it to copy while a long click will actually delete uh, the item so let's get to look at the it's a linear layout with uh, the orientation vertical weight and height field parent it has a text view that says add new entry you know this is just a static text so it's actually telling is a, a sort of instruction to add new entry let's get to look at the edit entry activity this is actually going to allow the user to enter the text uh, the ability to save or the ability to uh, to delete uh, the text typed so this is just the GUI of this particular XML let's get to look at the text uh, what about it's a linear layout with the rotation of vertical the layout height is few parent it has an edit text what about we assign an ID to it called edit entry? Uh, the text is empty. The layout height is wrap content and the lines is five. Uh, we have the include font padding true and the layout graffiti also to top a closing edit text. Uh, now we have a table layout to represent the entry the uh, as a table layout. Whereby we have an ID of table layout 01, field parent is the width and the wrap content is the height it has a table row uh what about you have a row which has an id of table row one you should get uh, acclimatized with the ids the layout written height uh few parents and wrap, wrap content respectively we have the button we have two buttons there the first button is save while the second button is delete an id of save button and delete button for the delete aspect so we have a closing table row and a closing table layout with a closing linear layout for the parent 
layout which gives this which gives this kind of design you know the ability to enter text right inside this large white box and we have the two buttons the save and the delete let's get to look at the main no entries xml the design view however you totally populate the a text of the list entries is still empty and they use the menu button on your device to add new entries to your quick copy list let's get to look at the list at uh, the text it's a linear layout with an orientation of vertical uh the width and height is full parent that's a text view whereby the layout with an height of the text view is also uh full parent it has a text which is actually calling from the string on um, and the text right there is your list of entries is still empty so if the list of entries is empty it's actually going to show that a layout graffiti of center vertical or center horizontal from here we'll be looking at the values let's get a look at the strings that were used okay we have the hello and the app name which is copy that's cool and from the values we'll be going straight to the java classes here we have two java classes the db helper and the quick copy main the db helper is actually going to use the sqlite database to save uh input uh values or input data right in the list item while about the quick copy main is the main activity which is the launcher ui of this particular application a quick look at the quick copy main class which extends the activity we're going to call the activity when it's first created that's why we have the onCreate method that call on the save instance state which is going to set the title to copy and it's going to trigger the refresh method so let's get to look at other methods used we have the on activity for results where we're passing the results the request code the result code and the intent data we also trigger the refresh method here on option item selected that's uh which is actually going to handle the menu button so uh we're going to use a switch to get the id which particular id uh is uh in question that is when you click on the menu button uh you're going to have uh, two uh kind of menu so we're going to actually identify each one of it with its uh, appropriate id so if the first id is menu add it's going to call on the add entry method i was actually going to break this and if the second one or the clicked button or the clicked id is menu help it's going to call on the show help method so let's see what the show app method does uh we create we created an object from the text view called tv now this particular tv is going to set a text to it where we set uh some text which is use the menu button to add new entries to the list just like an instruction uh, and you're going to tap an existing entry to copy that entry onto the clipboard uh, a long press on the ex existing entry to edit or delete that entry so a long press will actually uh is either it's edit or it's uh you delete uh the particular entry well we create an alert dialog because that's going to be a need for the alert well we create an object from this called builder i uh, will set a message based on the instructions and set neutral button to okay what about the dialog will show this particular uh, interface Let's look at the add entry method uh we actually create an edit object from the edit text where we set the ems to 20 and set some lines to five we have the alert dialog builder where we set the message to add a new entry this is just like an instruction to add a new entry set the view and also set cancelable to true so you can easily cancel this out we set positive button to add and then we have a string value uh where we test for the values if the value is not equals to uh empty that is if the value is not empty uh it's going to call on the db helper to get the entry so and it's actually going to add the entry based on its value we have the refresh method here to actually refresh this particular method 
this is the edit entry you know we have the add entry and we have the edit uh functionality as well, we'll just create the edit object just like the way we did for the add entry uh we set the alert builder and uh we set a message to edit entry we set well positive button to save so it's actually going to save after editing and uh, we set negative button to where to cancel just that let's look at the refresh because we continue to pass in the refresh into the edit entry method also into the add entry method uh it also uh showed up in the we have it somewhere in the uncreate method so let's look at what this refresh does it's called it creates an object from the dba upper class uh we set the content view to the layout main which is the uh launcher ui and we have the array list where we created an object entries now we want to get the entry size what about we have the object from the text view to set the text based on your list of entries is still empty you know this is just uh a sort of instructions you know followed else that if the entries are uh, is equals to zero that's no entry that's what that means but if there are entries right there in the db uh, which is the SQLite database uh, we're going to set the text that tap to copy a long press to edit so when you press it uh, a long press listener is actually going to edit and when you tap it it copies it to the clipboard now we created an adapter from the area adapter well we set the layout to the simple list item one uh, we created an object from the list view called LV whereby we set the adapter of this list view to the layout simple list item which is where it's the adapter i think you understand that so we populate the list uh, item or we populate the list view uh based on the layout gotten now we're going to set on item click list now to the list no this is actually a list item set on, on item click list now to this so when you click on this particular list what's going to happen is actually going to call the clipboard service this one is actually going to copy uh to clipboard and i uh, set the text value as well and there's going to be a toast that uh, it has been copied to the clipboard just what you seen here is actually going to show that gracefully and it's going to finish the method on on long item listener that's on long click it's going to set on item long click listener to this uh where it's going to trigger the edit entry method which is over here it's quite explicit uh and a click on this uh actually saves to clipboard on a uh, long click actually uh gives the room to edit and from there you can as well delete uh from the list item let's get to look at the db upper which is basically the sqlite database we have the string database name give it a name which is actually calling The database name is actually uh, the first slash data, uh, which is calling on the package name come on the RS Studios that copy uh, forward slash databases and copy DB. That's just the main uh, name of the DB. We have the table name string called entries, co column name called value. Wow, well, we create a table. This is this a SQL syntax or a SQL statement. Create table based on table name. So what's going to be the fields of the table we have id which is integer data type and it's a primary key and auto increment uh we have the column name which is text not null and now uh, let's get to look at some other things being created that's just it that's fine and uh we have the db which is actually going to be an object of the sqlite database class the db helper constructor is actually going to check the instance of the db which uh, is if it's equals to null is actually going to create the new instance and return the instance now we have the private db helper this is another um constructor this is an overloaded constructor whereby now if the db equals to the context is going to open or create the database which is this uh database name and uh, is actually going to call the sqli database and create if necessary 
Now we have a try and catch method to execute to create the table, an exception if the table already exists. The array list, which is the get entries method. Now we use the cursor to actually point on each of these uh, item. We have a table name, created a new string array. Uh, we have a values from the array list and an integer, which is column ID. Now, if you move to first, which is actually going to iterate through those uh, items, you know, I think I've explained this in one of my tutorials. If you're actually calling out some uh, data from your database using SQLite, uh, you're actually going to use the cursor and you move to first. So it's actually going to move to next. While it's moved to next, what's going to happen is going to do something. It's going to uh, add the values, which is going to get the string and the column ID. Quite straightforward. Therefore, the add entry, which is actually going to add uh, items into the database. So we have the compile statement, insert into the table name based on the values gotten. We have for the update, which is actually update the table name and set the value the question mark is going to be uh, a sort of, uh, let's say, a field which will be passed into from the input uh, text, where the value is equal to as a question mark for this. That's uh, a variable which must be filled in. Now, uh, where now, if you should look at the way it binds the string, uh, for the first value, which is the new value, and for the second value, which is actually the old value, you know, is actually going to update this. And the statement is going to be executed. We have for the delete entry, delete from the table name where the value equals to the old value. And uh, that's just it. Uh, we have the DB compile statement to delete from the table name where the value equals to the new value, uh, which the first is the old, and is actually going to execute this appropriately. Other uh, straightforward. So from here, I'll be showing the uh, the screencast of this particular application, or I'll be showing in an Android emulator for you to actually see how it flows and how to create a mini uh, notepad or a mini uh, diary, or you can call it a copy and paste application. You can use it for different uh, tasks. Here we go with the application. Now you have your list of entries is still empty. Use the menu button on your device to add new entries to your list. The items will be sorted alphabetically. So click on the menu, which is actually going to have the add entry or the F session. Now click on the add entry. You're going to add the new entry. So we have the dialog firm to add the new entry. Let's write, we are learning Android. We are learning Android. Afterwards, I'm going to add this up to the list. Can you see this? So you click on this, it's actually going to copy to clipboard, which uh, it has been copied, you know, and um, can you see copied to clipboard? So go back uh, to the application. Uh, you're still going to have it listed so with this uh, access, you can easily move to another application. Probably uh, you can move to WhatsApp to paste the clipboard. You no, know, anything copied on the clipboard can be pasted anywhere that uh, accepts text input. So that's just it. A long click. Let's get to see what's actually going to do. We have the ability to edit this entry and uh, we can delete we can cancel and we can, after editing, we can save. So that's just it. Uh, that's just how the application works. I will employ you to try this out on a real device. I'm actually using an emulator. So try it on a real device and see how it flows. Thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the session. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.